Hey everybody, welcome back to another reading of the Bible. We're in 1 Kings 17. This is our first um, introduction in this book, at least. Into first introduction to Elijah. Elijah and Elisha. Elijah comes in a little later, but I'm going to read 17 today. And we'll see how far we can go. Elijah the Tishbite who is of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, King Ahab, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, there we go, as the Lord God liveth, of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew or rain these years, but according to my word. The word of the Lord came unto him, that's Elijah, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Harith, that is before Jordan. It shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt by the brook Kareth, or Kareth, that is before Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and, and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. It came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. The word of the Lord said unto him, saying, uh, came to him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongs to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow, widow woman there to sustain thee. To sustain thee. So, so Elijah arose and went to Zarephath, and when it came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her, saying, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. As she was going to fetch it, he called to her, saying, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy, in thy hand. She said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruse. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat, eat it, and die. Huh, eat it and die? Let's see. Verse 12. 17, 12. Or prepared to die. In the footnote here, Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said. But make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after after make thee make for thee and thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruse of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. She went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and he and, and she and he and her house did eat many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruse of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Elijah, or through Elijah. It came to pass after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick, and his sickness was so bad, or sore, that there was no breath left in him. She said unto Elijah, What have I to do with thee, O thou man of God? Art thou come unto me to call my sin to remembrance and to slay my son? Elijah said to her, Give me thy son. And he took him out of her bosom and carried him up into a loft where he abode and laid upon his own bed. He cried unto the Lord and saying, O Lord my God, hast thou, hast thou also brought evil upon the widow with whom I sojourned by slaying her son? He stretched himself upon the child three times, and cried unto the Lord, saying, O Lord my God, I pray thee, let this child's soul come into him again. The Lord heard the voice of Elijah, and the soul of the child came into him again, and he revived, or was revived. Elijah took the child, and brought him down out of the chamber into the house, and delivered him unto his mother. And Elijah said, See, thy son liveth. And the, the woman said unto, said unto Elijah, Now by this I know that thou art a man of God, and that the word of the Lord is in thy mouth is truth. Chapter 18. It came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto Ahab the king, 
and I will send rain upon the earth. Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab, and there was a sore or very bad famine, severe famine in Samaria. Ahab called Obadiah, chapter, uh, verse 3 there, Obadiah, 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 in Hebrew, Obadiah, Obadiah, who was the governor of his house. Now, Obadiah feared the Lord greatly. This may be the same Obadiah that later wrote the prophecy. For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord that Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. Ahab said unto Obadiah, Go into the land un unto all the fountains of water and unto all brooks. Suppose we may find grass, or prevent, but suppose. Suppose we may find grass and save the horses and mules al alive, that we lose not the beasts, or all the beasts. So they divided the land between them to pass throughout, throughout it. Ahab went one way by himself, and Obadiah went another way by himself. As Obadiah was in the way, behold, Elijah met him, and he knew him, and fell on his face, and say, saying, Art thou, art thou that my lord, Elijah, are you Elijah? Is that you, Elijah? Elijah answered, Obadiah, I am. Go and tell thy lord, behold, Elijah is here. He said, What have I sinned, that thou wouldest deliver thy servant into the hand of Ahab to slay me? As the Lord thy God liveth, there is no nation nor kingdom whither my Lord hath not sent to seek thee. And when this and when they said he is not there, he took an oath of the kingdom and nation that they feed thee not. And that they excuse me, uh, that they found thee not. Now thou sayest, Go tell my Lord, behold Elijah is here. Uh, it shall come to pass, soon as I am gone from thee, that the Spirit of the Lord shall carry me thither I know not. Whither, whither I know not. And so when I come and tell Ahab, and he cannot find find thee, he shall slay me. But I, but I thy servant, feared the Lord from my youth. Was I not told, my Lord, that I did when, what I did when Jezebel slew the prophets of the Lord? How I hid a hundred men of the Lord's prophets by fifty in the cave, and fed them with the bread and water? Now thou sayest, Go tell thy Lord, Behold, Elijah is here. And he shall slay me. Elijah said, This is all Obadiah speaking. Elijah said, Excuse me, as the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, I will surely show myself unto him today. So Obadiah went to me, Ahab, and telling him, telling him that Elijah was there. And Ahab went to me, Elijah. It came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he who troubleth Israel? Elijah answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, and in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and thou hast followed ba Baalim, or Baal. Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal, or Baal, 450, and the prophets of the groves, 400, who eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. Elijah came unto all the people, saying, How long, how long halt ye be between two opinions? Two opinions. If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, Baal be God, then follow him. And the people answered not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord, but, I, but, but Baal's, Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bullocks, and let them choose one bullock for themselves, and cut it in pieces, and lay it on, on wood, and put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullock, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. Call ye on the name of the name of your gods and I will call on the name of the Lord and the God who answereth by fire let him be God and all the people answered saying it is well spoken Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal choose you one bullock for yourselves and dress it first for ye are many and call on the name of your gods but put no fire under they took the bullock which was given them and they dressed it, dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning unto 
even until noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any who answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. It came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a god. Either he is talking, or he's pursuing, or he's, he's in a journey, or suppose he is asleep. And he must be awakened. They cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lancets, till the blood gushed out upon them. Ugh. It came to pass when midday was passed that they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening's sacrifice that there was neither voice nor any to answer nor any that who regarded. Elijah said unto the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he, he, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. With the, st with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and, and he made a trench about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed. He put the wood in under and cut the bullock in pieces, laid them on the wood, and said, Fill four barrels with water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on wood. He said, Do it the second time. And he did it the second time. He said, Do it the third time. And they did it the third time. The water ran around about the altar and filled the trench also with water. It came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near, saying, Lord God of Abraham, of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, or Jacob, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their, their heart back again. And then the fire of the Lord fell, and consumed the burnt sacrifice, the wood, the stones, the dust, and lift up the water that was in the trench. When all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, he is the God. The Lord, he is the God. Elijah said unto him, Take the prophets of Baal, let no one, not one of them escape. And they took them, took them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and slew them there. Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up and eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went to, went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to t top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth, and put his face between his knees, saying to his servant, Go up now, take, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. He said, Go again seven times. Came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. He said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot, and get thee down, that the rain stop not thee. And it came to pass. It came to pass in the me in the meanwhile, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain. Ah and Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. The hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he girded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. And that's the end of eighteen. So that is Elijah, part one. Hope you enjoyed it.